brand new Nexus 5 here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First thing we're going to mention is resolution switching through adaptive playback. Now breaking that down, pretty much it means that while watching a video, the resolution can constantly be fluctuating. Instead of having to close out of a video to reload it for the HD mode, while watching the video, the quality can be increasing, similar to how YouTube works. Next is the ability to easily switch between launchers. Now, personally, I enjoy having a custom launcher on my phone, and you can now hop into the settings on Android KitKat and quickly choose which launcher you want to run instead of having to go through the applications and then uh, clear defaults and the whole complicated mess that it used to be on previous versions of Android. Next is screen recording. Now this is the feature more so for developers or people that actually have the Android API set up on their computer. And what that lets you do is you can record .mp4 formats of an Android 4.4 screen and then you can share them online on YouTube or if you wanted to share them on a private website, you can do that. It's a really cool feature. Like I said, it's not necessarily something that's going to be as available for everybody to do, but it is cooked into Android 4.4. Number four is going to be process stats. So you can now see what applications are using what amount of RAM. Similar to how you could on a PC or Mac, you really have full control over all your programs. Besides from viewing the storage that each app takes up, you can see the amount of performance and RAM and everything that it's doing to your phone at that immediate moment. Number five is updated notification information, meaning application developers can now choose what sort of excerpt data they want to pop up in the notification bar to give you a little bit more important information in that notification window that you can see at a glance of time. Number six is the photo editor built into the gallery. Now this is very simple and it's awesome. You can go ahead and fully dive into editing just about any photo without having to get a third party application. Easy to use and you can really tweak your photos to get some really nice looking shots. Number seven is going to be the ability to scrub through music from the lock screen. Now this is a feature that I'm finally happy to enjoy. If you listen to a lot of music then you'll know that when you have to actually unlock your phone if you want to skip past that boring intro or just skip forward to the next song you can now scrub through certain parts of a song or video in the Android 4.4 lock screen which is personally this is going to be an awesome one as little as it is it's a really nice feature I think that they finally added. Number eight is the loudness enhancer. So there's pretty much a more so modified EQ built into Android 4.4. It allows you to set a custom profile that enhances the audio specifically tuned for voices. So when you're in a phone call, similar to how the Galaxy devices had this set up, you can have the volume quality improved as well as just make it a lot louder so you can understand what the person's saying to you. Number nine is full screen wallpapers. This is another simple one, but another thing that's really good and it's kind of a minor annoyance on other versions of Android. When you're setting a wallpaper, you now have that full screen capability. You're not having to crop that wallpaper down at all. You can get the full top to bottom, edge to edge, exactly how you want that wallpaper to look on your phone. 10 is the support for IR blasters. Now, so long as your device does have a physical IR blaster built into the phone, you can now use third-party applications to control it. Now, this is huge because applications like Netflix, That's Hulu, all for now. For more review, tutorial, news, and updates on latest technology, visit techrena.in. Thank you. Have a nice day.